Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with the AP Calculus 2014 uh, free response questions. Oh, 2013, sorry. So let's get going. Uh, the figure above shows the graph of f prime, the derivative, twice differentiable function f on the closed interval 0 through 8. The graph f prime has a horizontal tangent lines at x equals 1, 3, 5, the areas between the regions are labeled in the figure. The function f is defined for all real numbers. Find all values of x on the open interval for which the function has a local minimum. Uh, for which f has a local minimum. So what was the local minimum? f1, the first derivative is 0. And the second derivative is, for the second derivative test, we're looking for points where the second derivative is concave up. So that's greater than 0. So this is what we're looking for. Now, um, the first derivative is 0 is kind of like, you can kind of see where it is. These are candidates x equals 1, x equals, um, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 4, 5, 6, 6. That's when the first derivative is 0, because this is the graph of the first derivative. It's when it hits the x-axis. Now, when are these the second derivative equal? greater than zero um, definitely at, um, at uh, let's see when this the second derivative would be the derivative of this graph so it'd be the slopes of this graph right because the derivative of this which is the second derivative of the derivative of this one are the slopes and that only happens at x equals six so this is what we went for now for x equals one the second derivative is technically zero so to eliminate that, you kind of have to look at what happens to the left. You, you can't use the second derivative test. You have to use a first derivative test. And for it, you see, like, it doesn't change sign. The first derivative stays positive be, uh, bef to the left of 1 to the right of 1. And remember, for a, um, a local minimum, right, the, the slope is 0. And then to the left, the slope is the derivative is negative, And here, the derivative is positive. To the left of 1, the derivative would be positive because it's above the y-axis because this is a graph of the derivative. And to the right, it's also positive, which is above the x-axis. So just this one. Determine the absolute minimum value of f on the closed interval. Justify your answer. Well, um, it's either at a local minimum or the endpoint. So we need to look at f of 0, f of 6, and f of 8, and compare those values and see which one is the absolute smallest. So f of 0. We don't know yet, f of 6 and f of 8. Well, f of 8 is what's given to us initially. They tells us that's 4. OK. And to get, if, if this is, if the value there, then I got to go back to 6, which is here, I need to subtract this area. Because between 6 and 8, I'm adding all this area. So f of 8 is bigger. So f of 6 is minus 7, which would be minus 3. Now. <clears throat> to get from 4 to 6, I uh, subtracted 3. So that means like f of 4, for example, is 0. And then um, between here and here, um, I added 6. So if that's 0, so around here, it's minus 6. And from here, here, I added 2, so I just have to subtract 2. So that's uh, minus 8. Like, let, let, and let's work it up backwards. If f of 0 is 8, then to get to here, I'm gonna like to get to um, f of six, for example. Here, I have to add all these areas. So two plus six is eight. Eight minus three is five. So five plus negative eight is ne is negative three. Here, it's negative three plus seven. We get to four. So that's kind of this. And so the absolute minimum is this one, negative eight. Determine which interval open intervals contain it. Is the graph both concave down and increasing? Okay, concave down is this, what are the regions where the second derivative is, um, and that means the slopes of this graph, so that's between 0 and 1, um, between 3 and 5, and that's it. Increasing means the first derivative is greater than 0. First derivative is greater than 0, again, between 0 and 1. 
We don't include one because it's at zero. Then it's above the y-axis between one and four. Then um, five, six, six to eight. Okay, and we and we want to look at the overlap that these guys have. So they overlap from zero to one, and then they overlap here from three to four. So this is the region. D, the function g is defined by g of x equals f cubed if f of 3 equals negative 5 halves. Find the slope of the tangent line to the graph at, of g at x equals 3. OK, slope of the tangent line means as the same derivative. So I really need to just compute what g prime of 3 is, right? g prime of x is equal to, by this, I could use power rule, 3 f of x squared but since the inside of this by is not x I can multiply by the derivative so I gotta do so g prime of 3 is 3 f of 3 squared times the derivative at 3 derivative at 3 is 4 so this is 4 and this is minus 5 halves squared times 3 uh, this is 25 over 4 times 4 is 25. 25 times 3 is 75. Let's just double check that math. 5 half squared, 5 over, 25 over 4. 25 over 4 times 4 is 25 times 3 is 75. Okay, so let's look at, oh, this is the previous question, question 4. x equals 6 and the only critical point where f changes sign from negative to positive. Therefore, f is local minimum at x equals 6. Good. Absolute minimum, so negative 8. I considered 0 and 6. What do we get? 8, negative 8, negative 3, and 4. Good. C, 0, 1, and 3 to 4. Good. And then 75. So got that all this time. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next free response question. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.